In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. We celebrate the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time, a time we dedicate, we continue to deepen our relationship and understanding of the Lord. We normally celebrate this Eucharist at the parish in Eden Vale at St. Therese, but uh, due to load shedding, we now in the studio. It is the reality of our times, the reality of our country. We come before God in this time to offer ourselves, to give ourselves to the Lord. We come in this time, in this Eucharist, we carry the prayers of those who have asked us to pray for them. We come in this Eucharist to bring before God the prayers of those whom we carry in our hearts. We come also before God aware of our own weaknesses, of our sinfulness before God, and we humbly bring ourselves before God, begging for pardon and for mercy. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. We ask all of this through him, Christ our Lord, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will take a sprig from the lofty top of the cedar and will set it out. I will break off from the topmost of its young twigs a tender one, and I myself will plant it upon a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain height of Israel will I plant it, that it may bring forth boughs and bear fruit and become a noble cedar. And under it will dwell all kinds of beasts. In the shade of its branches, birds of every sort will nest. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree and make high the low tree, dry up the green tree and make the dry tree flourish. I, the Lord, have spoken and I will do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our responsorial psalm, It is good to give thanks to you, O Lord. It is good to give thanks to you, O Lord. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your loving mercy in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night. It is, it is good to give praise to you, O Lord. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. It, it is good to give praise to you, O Lord. They will still bear fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green to proclaim that the Lord is upright. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. It is to praise. Um. Our second reading is from the le second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. <coughs> For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive good or evil according to what he has done in the body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of God, the sower is Christ. All who come to him will live forever.
The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory Glory to to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed upon the ground and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should sprout and grow, how he does not know. The earth produces of itself first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. But when the grain is ripe, at once he puts in the sickle, because the harvest has come. And he said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable shall we use for it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when sown upon the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on earth, Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all the shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can nest in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them without a parable, but privately to his own disciples he explained everything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Elsewhere in the scriptures we hear this same illustration of Jesus about the mustard seed, which is a very small seed, looks like dust really when put in the hand, but it grows up to be a very big shrub. And Jesus compares our faith to the size of the mustard seed that it is, or it can be, from the very smallest faith that great actions, great results, great fruits, great benefits can be received there. From the smallest of the faith to biggest or greatest graces. We are people who define our lives according to our faith. We know God, we believe in God, and we allow ourselves to be shaped by the word of God. Our faith has a very important place in our lives. However, no matter the size of our faith, if we do not act like Jesus we will not produce fruit. If we are not like Jesus in our actions, in our thoughts, we will not be like Jesus. We celebrated recently the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. When we describe somebody to say they are a good person, we we will normally describe them by their heart. He's got a good heart. He's got a bad heart. He's got a dirty heart, if that person is bad. And when we speak of Jesus, when we define Jesus, we speak of him with as having a holy heart, a sacred heart, a heart that reflects God, that is close to God, a heart that was willing, that was ready to be break, broken for God. And that was the faith that Jesus had in God the Father. 
this is our calling that we too in our faith reflect the action of Jesus. We cannot proclaim to be like Jesus only in our in only in our in our words, but it is through our actions that we can be like Jesus. Pope Francis reminds us when he takes one of the famous speeches of Jesus, the Beatitudes, and he puts it for our times and how we can leave those Beatitudes and be like Jesus. And he says, Blessed are those who remain faithful while enduring evils inflicted on them by others and still are able to forgive them from the heart. Blessed are those who look into the eyes of the abandoned and marginalized. And they don't just look, but they show them the closeness of God. Blessed are those who see God in every action and strive to make God known and discovered by others. Blessed are those who care and protect and care for our common home, the earth. Blessed are those who renounce their own comfort, who give up what they have in order that others may have, who give up what they have in order to help others. Blessed are those who pray and work for the full communion between Christians. This is faith in action that reflects the life of Jesus. May we live our faith, may it be seen in our actions, and may our faith be a blessing to others. We profess our faith in God as we say, I believe in, in one God, God the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For our sin and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, 
and his his kingdom kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the The Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God, our Father, we as your people bring our prayers to you. You are the God who is alive, who is present in us, within us. We trust always in your mercy as we pray for ourselves, pray for your church, and we pray for our world. Dear Lord, we bring our world to you as we are under the strain of the COVID virus. Please bless all your people and grant them your health. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, graciously graciously hear hear us. Lord, we pray for ourselves that although our faith may start out as a mustard seed, with your inspiration, with the Holy Spirit's guidance, it may grow into a big tree. Be with us, Lord, and guide us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our fellow brothers and sisters who are not feeling well, either physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Lay your healing hand on them, Lord, and grant them your help through those who care for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pray for all our deceased brothers and sisters. Give comfort to the bereaving families and grant eternal rest to those who have come to you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for these and all our prayers hidden in the depths of our hearts, we bring them to you, Lord, trusting always in your love and unending mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth work of human hands. It becomes our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine work of human hands. It becomes our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, 
that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Buti Tlachale, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus taught us that when we pray, we should, call, we should call God Father. So we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The for kingdom, the kingdom, the, the power, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. With your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to the Lord's banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We come to the end of our Eucharistic celebration and we are thankful to God for small mercies. We are thankful that in these cold days we can be able to be warm. And we pray that ESCOM will not disrupt us too much. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your you. spirit. The blessing of the Almighty God be with you and remain with you always. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. words we hear of him who spoke as none e'er spoke yet we believe him Yet we believe